This is Mr. Beast, uh, Jimmy. I had a friend when I was 13 that found my channel, and so I deleted like all the videos. I got really self-conscious. Mr. Beast, one of the biggest names on YouTube and known for his larger-than-life generosity, is now facing one of the most intense challenges of his career. Allegations, leaked messages, and shocking insider accounts have thrust Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast, into an FBI-level investigation. With claims ranging from workplace misconduct to negligent oversight, what was once whispered about in industry circles has exploded into a full-blown crisis, drawing federal scrutiny. This is no longer just YouTube drama. This situation involves serious stakes that could impact the future of Mr. Beast's multi-million dollar brand. So what's really going on here? How did one of YouTube's most beloved stars end up embroiled in a controversy so big that the FBI is reportedly involved? We're taking you inside this unfolding drama to explore the allegations, Mr. Beast's side of the story, and what this means for his future. Brace yourself, because this isn't just about viral videos and giveaways, this is a story of high stakes, intense claims, and a potential turning point for one of the internet's biggest influencers. With federal authorities reportedly now involved, this story has escalated far beyond the typical YouTube controversy. When the FBI steps in, it means there's enough credible information to warrant a formal investigation. According to prominent YouTuber Rosanna Pansino, who has taken the bold step of going public with her allegations, Jimmy Donaldson, some of his employees, and his, in my opinion, terrible business practices, some of which I've seen honestly may be illegal. She filed a report with the FBI after reviewing what she claims to be highly troubling information related to Mr. Beast's company culture and employee interactions. Pansino's decision to escalate her concerns to the federal level has changed the trajectory of this story entirely, as authorities don't initiate investigations without serious reason. From alleged workplace misconduct to problematic interactions in private chats, Pansino and other former employees claim that Mr. Beast's empire isn't as squeaky clean as his public image. New update, I have received thousands of leaked messages from an official Mr. Beast work chat. These are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on Telegram. According to Pansino, this is just the beginning, and if her warnings are accurate, the true scope of the issues within Mr. Beast's company could be much larger. For fans and critics alike, the involvement of federal authorities is a jarring reminder of how significant these allegations are and just how deep they might run. Central to the controversy are screenshots from a company chat reportedly involving Mr. Beast and his team, including figures like Ava Chris Tyson. These leaked messages, allegedly exchanged among team members in a private group chat, are claimed to contain problematic jokes, concerning remarks, and references to workplace conduct that, if true, would raise serious ethical and legal questions. Pansino, along with a former employee who goes by Dogpack404, has analyzed these chat logs publicly. Why Mr. Beast released the following statement. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online and I am disgusted. Pointing to specific messages they believe reveal a toxic workplace culture. The most alarming aspect of the leaks is that Mr. Beast's alias in the chat allegedly John Smith, appears to be aware of or even participates in some of these discussions. Screenshots shared by Pansino suggest that John Smith may have ignored or downplayed red flags related to Ava's behavior. It's that. I want to show you that. John Smith in mm -hmm. these chat logs is Mr. Beast. I'll just show some messages to show that John Smith is Jimmy. Further fueling suspicions about his knowledge and involvement in these internal issues. Pansino and others argue that Mr. Beast's awareness of these issues conflicts with his public statements, raising questions about his transparency with fans and employees alike. These alleged chat logs have also sparked discussions about the broader workplace culture within Mr. Beast's team. Former employees like Dogpack404 have come forward to describe what they claim was a toxic boys club culture, where problematic behavior was not only overlooked, but encouraged. According to these insiders, discrimination, inappropriate conduct, and a dismissive attitude toward employee concerns were reportedly part of the company's internal dynamics. The exponential growth of Mr. Beast's brand may have also played a role in these issues. Over the past few years, Mr. Beast has expanded beyond YouTube videos into areas like branded products, large-scale charitable donations, and even fast food with Mr. Beast Burger. 
But with that rapid expansion, some argue, came growing pains. Critics claim that Mr. Beast's team may not have implemented the professional policies and infrastructure needed to support such rapid success, leading to what they describe as a chaotic and unprofessional work environment. Amidst the outcry, Mr. Beast's team responded with a formal investigation. In a statement, Mr. Beast revealed that he had hired a third-party law firm to conduct a thorough review of the company's internal culture. According to his post on social media, the investigation took three months, involved millions of documents and messages, and included interviews with 39 employees. Mr. Beast's goal, he claims, was to ensure a fair and unbiased look into the allegations. The results of this investigation were released in a statement from Mr. Beast's team, which admitted to identifying isolated incidents of workplace misconduct. However, they denied finding any evidence supporting the more severe allegations that Pansino and other former employees had leveled against Mr. Beast and his team. The investigation concluded with a series of recommendations aimed at improving the company's policies, including mandatory training for employees, hiring a chief people officer, and creating a safer and more professional workplace as the brand continues to expand. At the center of the allegations is Ava Chris Tyson, a former colleague of Mr. Beast's whose conduct has sparked heated debate. According to former employees and insiders, Tyson's behavior had reportedly been an issue long before these allegations surfaced publicly. Rosanna Pansino and Dogpack 404 claim that Tyson's actions raised numerous red flags and that management, including Mr. Beast himself, should have been aware of these issues. Screenshots of Tyson's comments in the chat logs reportedly show her engaging in questionable conversations, sharing problematic memes, and making remarks that others found disturbing. Given Mr. Beast's large child audience, critics argue that his continued association with Tyson was irresponsible and potentially harmful. They claim that Mr. Beast should have taken immediate action to distance himself and his brand from Tyson's behavior, rather than allegedly allowing it to continue. While Mr. Beast's response seems proactive, critics argue that it's more of a PR move than genuine accountability. The fact that the investigation was funded and overseen by Mr. Beast's own team has raised concerns about its objectivity. Skeptics argue that the investigation's findings, that there were only isolated incidents of misconduct, don't align with the serious nature of the allegations. To some, Mr. Beast's response appears calculated with the investigation seen as a way to deflect criticism rather than genuinely address internal problems. This skepticism has only intensified as critics point out that no specifics were shared about the isolated incidents mentioned in the investigation's findings. Instead, vague language like swift and appropriate action has left fans and followers questioning whether any meaningful changes were actually made. With the federal investigation reportedly ongoing and his reputation under scrutiny, Mr. Beast faces a new reality. His brand has long been built on positivity, transparency, and philanthropy, qualities that made him a standout in the influencer world. But these allegations have the potential to reshape his public image in profound ways. If Mr. Beast's audience begins to see him as complicit in or dismissive of problematic behavior, it could seriously damage the trust he's built with millions of fans. Maintaining the integrity of his brand in the face of these accusations will likely require more than statements and investigations. Mr. Beast's philanthropic efforts, like funding surgeries and giving away life-changing prizes, have been central to his appeal. But the shadow of these allegations risks overshadowing his good deeds. As the controversy continues, Fans and critics alike are questioning whether the real Mr. Beast is the generous figure they've come to know, or if a darker reality lies beneath the surface. With federal authorities involved and ongoing scrutiny from former employees and the public, it's unclear how this story will conclude. Will Mr. Beast's brand weather the storm, or will more revelations emerge that further complicate his legacy? If federal authorities confirm some of the claims made by Pansino and others, it could spell a major shift for Mr. Beast and his empire. In an era where influencer accountability is increasingly scrutinized, this case could become a defining moment. The Mr. Beast scandal could serve as a cautionary tale, not only for Mr. Beast himself, but for the entire influencer industry. The rise of mega influencers like Mr. Beast has blurred the lines between entertainment, business, and responsibility and this situation may force the entire community to confront those blurred lines head on.
What do you think about this unfolding controversy? Has this changed your perspective on Mr. Beast and his brand? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss where this might be headed. With federal involvement, leaked chats, and heated public debate, this is a story that's only just beginning to unfold.